For teachers who have iPads in their classroom, it is important at the end of each day that you make sure the iPads have all of the windows and tabs closed out. And it is also important that you clear the browsing history. So I'm gonna show you how to do both of those things. So first of all, to make sure all of the windows that are open are closed out, all of the apps are closed out, you're going to double click the home button if you have an iPad that has a home button and that will show you all of the apps, windows and everything that are open. Now, if you don't have an iPad that has a home button, you can swipe up from the bottom of the screen and it will show you all of your apps as well. So now that we see all of the apps and windows that are open, we're gonna start swiping them up to close them out. So you're gonna keep swiping, keep swiping until they're all closed out. This is important to help keep that iPad running smoothly because the more apps and windows that you have open, the slower that iPad is going to be to run and respond. So that's the first thing you need to do, close out all of the open apps. The next thing you're gonna do is clear the browsing history. We have to go into settings to do that. So you're gonna push the settings button to open it up. And then on the left side of the screen, you're gonna scroll down until you see Safari. So we're gonna keep going. There's Safari right there. Now over on the right side of the screen, you're gonna scroll all the way down until you see clear history and website data. And now this window will pop up and you're gonna select all history. Also, I recommend that you make sure and you close all tabs. Now, if you're running on an older version of iOS, you may not see these options here, but go ahead and clear all history if you have that option available to you. So now we're gonna click the clear history button and that will clear out all of the history. So if you have students that are sharing iPads, if one student is logged into Clever and then going into Seesaw or other programs, now you can be certain that all of that data and history is cleared out so that the next kid that uses the device won't have an issue getting logged in. I hope this helps.